Pan Ams happened this past weekend, and USA Wrestling went 10 for 10 in men's freestyle. They won massively. Absolutely massively, men's freestyle won uh, the tournament ahead of Canada, ahead of Cuba, who finished behind them at second and third places, respectively. So Pan Ams uh, wrestled, this is an international tournament, it wrestled in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Uh, Argentina, sorry, it's Argentino. Uh, Argentina. And this is freestyle, Greco, uh, men's and women's freestyle, uh, this tournament is. So let's look a little bit at who wrestled and who did well. So in men's freestyle, first of all, Josh Rodriguez won. I'm going to go down this list. 57 kilograms, Josh Rodriguez. 61 kilograms, Joey Colon. Uh, Colton Crystal won at 65 kilograms. Then at 70 kilograms, it was actually Anthony Ashnell coming off of a great college career. Jordan Burroughs won his third title at 74 kilograms. Chandler Rogers, another guy coming out of a college career, won at 79 kilograms. David Taylor won at 86 kilograms, his second title, actually. And another guy who won multiple titles, um, is Kyle Snyder at 97 kilograms, but that's let's not get over that without forgetting about Jaden Cox, who won at 92 kilograms, and then Nick Gwizdowski, uh, who won at 125 kilograms. That was his second title. So USA Wrestling went 10 for 10. Uh, every single guy who wrestled won their weight class, and this is the first time this has ever happened where the U Team USA, any team, went 34 and 0. What a dream team, man. What a freaking dream team this is to have all these guys wrestle and win. Now, a couple of big matches. Uh, David Taylor and Jaden Cox actually pinned their way from the first match all the way to the finals to their title at Pan Ams. Another big match was actually with uh, Joe Cologne. So he beat the reigning world champion, uh, Rodriguez. He beat him in one of the first rounds and ended up winning the title. That's pretty great in and of itself. Now, a couple of these guys who wrestled at Pan Ams will also wrestle at Beat the Streets on May 6th in freestyle. You got Anthony Ashnell, who wrestled uh, James Green. Uh, you got Burroughs, who's wrestling Askren, which is going to be the match of the night. Then, of course, also you have Kyle Snyder, who's also wrestling at Beat the Streets. So these are all guys who wrestle in the off college season, you know, these guys are obviously all graduated, but they wrestle in the international, at the international level. Now, the other guys are wrestling at the U.S. Open this weekend, a lot of these guys, but what happened in the other weights, because, or the other styles, so this is freestyle. Now, in Greco-Roman, you had, a, we had a couple of champs, actually, in Max Nowry, 50, uh, 55 kilograms, Ravon Perkins, 72 kilograms, Cheney Height at 82 kilograms, and Adam Kuhn, when he had 130 kilograms. What a big guy, and they actually won the tournament for Greco-Roman for Team USA. And then we also, uh, in case you guys want to know a little bit more about women's wrestling, they actually also won a title. They had five champs, I believe, and Sarah Hildebrand, who won at 53 kilograms, Alex Hendrick at 55 kilograms, Julia Salata at 65 kilograms, Tamira uh, Stock at 80. 68 kilograms and then Adeline Gray at 76 kilograms and these women also won a Team USA uh, title they won the Pan Am title for Team USA so this is a great tournament for Team USA overall let me know you know I'm kind of diving into a little bit of international wrestling and full disclosure to you guys I have not followed it aggressively over the last couple of years I've followed it i know what's happening i i follow the olympics but i haven't followed a lot of these tournaments aggressively and i've been doing that a little bit more please let me know if you'd like to see more content like this more international wrestling freestyle uh in greco-roman as opposed to just the regular folk style and college wrestling i want to know if there's any interest in that please let me know in the comments below